Hi, my name is Brienne. And I'm Abby. And this is our final project for eArt 303. Our arts education philosophy is to establish that arts education is essential for all students to develop creativity and design. It also helps, it should be incorporated in all aspects of the curriculum. It helps students build personal self and express their thoughts, feelings, and emotions in ways that are different from just writing and other parts of the curriculum. For our project, we want to incorporate a school kind of in the inner city Saskatoon where mental health is a big problem with the Dubai Centre, which is the mental health facility at the Royal University Hospital. Our plan is to make have each grade in the school make an art project. And this could be done with every class doing one, but our idea was just every grade. Some statistics that kind of are shocking is that one in five people will personally experience mental illness in their lives in Canada, which means that almost everybody will know somebody who's experiencing mental illness in their lives. I myself have experienced mental illness. I myself have been in the Dubai Center as well. And that's part of the reason why we chose this as our project. We feel that we need to give a voice to the people who are struggling with mental illness and break the stigma that's always there. <laughs> Here are two examples that we have made. This is the emotion wheel, and this is the it bugs me when bug. Throughout the next 30 seconds, we are going to show you all 10 of our ideas. Coloring pages. It bugs me when bugs. Emotions wheels. Dual self portraits. Dream catchers. The coping strategies fortune tellers. Gratitude wheels, collages, and our crochet pillows. So our process is students will, in their classes, each make one of these projects. The next day, they will be bused to the, the Dubai Center, and student volunteers, probably three to four per class, will lead instruction with people in the art therapy department of the Dubai Center about how to make these projects. So for materials, we will need white paper, construction paper, markers, crayons, and or pencil crayons, paint, scissors, glue sticks, or white glue, old magazines, craft templates, which can all be found on Pinterest, coloring books and or print out pages, yarn and crochet hook, pipe cleaner, string, and feathers. So for time, students will come to the Dubai Center for two hours. Uh, art at the Dubai Center runs from one to three, or three to five, so we would come on a day that it would run one to three, since that's during school hours, um, and they would have at least an hour for their art lessons, and then an hour to make the art piece. Um, total time away from the school would be two hours. The crochet pillows, if they are going to take longer than two hours, that could be replaced with a different art project. For management and organization, we would have, since the city bus, which is free, um, can run from all different times and can be time consuming during to drop due to drop offs and pickups. We would probably have a staff member or someone who is able to kind of scope out how long the ride is going to take by probably taking that bus one day just to make sure we know how long it is going to take to get from point A to point B and leave ourselves enough time for pickups and drop offs to get back to school at a reasonable time. The best part of this project is that it is absolutely free. The materials that we chose are ones that every school has, and once the children get to the Dubai Center, the Dubai Center art room has everything you will need to complete this project, as well as mentioned before, the city bus travel is free.